Yo, what is going on, you gravel loving Garchomp? Today we're playing some games with Mewtwo. This is the current build that I've been rocking, and I actually used to win uh, one of the Limitless tournaments uh, a couple weeks back now, uh, a week or two, but the deck is still very strong. Uh, and, and my favorite deck to play out of the Tier 1 decks, I think this is Tier 1 alongside ADP and Picaram. This is my favorite one to play, because uh, there's so many options, and uh, it just makes it the game is more entertaining, more fun overall. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing really too ridiculous compared to probably lists you guys have played with or seen or what I've showcased here on the channel before. Um, it's basically or kind of like a Picaram deck for the most part. Like we got the Boltons in there, we're trying to electrify, and then usually go into like full blitz or using Raichu Raichu as our main attack. But we've got a ton of other options thanks to Aurora Energy and the uh, perfection ability of Mewtwo. We got like the Naganadel with the Venom Shots. Uh, we also have a Surfetched in here to help with stuff like Eternatus. Uh, we got the Greninja in here to help with like Decidueye, also very good against Luke Metal because the Mislash gets through their Metal Goggles damage reduction as well as the GX attack, the full Metal Wall damage reduction from the uh, Lucario Mumbo. We got the Vileplume in here so we can be aggressive early or have a super efficient attack for just the two energy later in the game with the massive Bloom on the Vileplume. Uh, and then I have one, the one Gengar Mimikyu in here, and this is like the, if you guys were like, um, you, there's a different card you guys would want in here. Uh, card that you like having here. This is the card I would cut. This is the go-to cut. Uh, I think currently in the deck is this Gengar and Mimikyu GX. It's cool. It's good sometimes. I don't think it's super consistently good. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for something like you have a favorite card you like playing in this deck um, that's not currently in like my current build and you'd want to like fit that in here, I'd say go ahead and cut the Gengar and Mimikyu. Super cool to have around. Um, super fun when you're able to pull off the cool plays that you can pull off with the Gengar and Mimikyu, but definitely not essential to the deck. Uh, two Mewtwo's in here. That's like the the, my 61st card right now, I think, is a third Mewtwo and Mewtwo. Mew and Mewtwo. And if I ever get tired of the Gengar Mimikyu, that's what would this would be cut for. Uh, Gengar Mimikyu for a Mew and Mewtwo. Uh, four Cherish, four Quick, of course. Uh, two Stamp, four Switch. Uh, compared to my, some of my previous builds and what's been played in general, I've gone up to the 10 Basic Lightning. I've been loving it so far. That extra Lightning, I really feel the impact game to game. Uh, having the extra energy in the deck for Full Blitz um, is basically the biggest thing. Um, and it just, yeah, it feels really good. Uh, of course, for Aurora two air balloon and then four 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 on the supporters the best three supporters in the game right now in the deck and then two swell to help against those earth decks you could also cut a swell cutting a swell wouldn't be terrible you don't actually let's do this let's cut a swell let's go to that third mewtwo um welder decks um the matchup still will be fine uh it's, if welder decks are super popular you're trying to beat them go ahead fit that second swell back in um find the cut that you like uh, like i said gengar mimikyu third mewtwo are kind of my two floating spots i guess right now but yeah we're, we're, I'm, I'm comfortable cutting so let's cut a swell Go with three Mewtwo instead. Be a little bit more consistent about our main attacker getting out there and doing its thing. And uh, I think that's it. So let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, that's it. All right. We are into our first game here. We do like to go second with because uh, we either like to get off a turn one Bolton or a turn one attack with Mewtwo. Oof. It's a pretty ugly hand to actually open with. Uh, double Dene. Not great. Not great. Um, yeah. We either like to use Bolton turn one, which hopefully we top deck a Bolton here, or... Uh, we can go with uh, just a turn one attack with Mewtwo through like Vileplume or Greninja even. Um, if we can get that off. Ah, this hand really is not it. I almost want a Dede change. Because ah, I don't really want a Dede change. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and research. We don't want the Dede in play. This is how I'm feeling. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going to Dede change anyways. So Bolton comes down. Switch into Bolton. Uh, Cherish Ball. The Mewtwo's are here. Grab Mewtwo. Zor uh, Greninja GX is here, which is also important. I don't have energy in there left. Okay, grab yeah, grab Mewtwo. That's what we want to put the energy on. I don't want to bench the Raichu, I don't think. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, Dede change. Got an energy. Electrify's happening. All right, everything's cool. Everything's good. And, uh, yeah, losing the Aurora energy does stink quite a bit. Um, those we want to get on our Mewtwo because uh, if they play the Mimikyu that shuts off abilities from our tag team Pokemon, we want to be able to use Miraculous Duo to KO the Mimikyu and then heal all that damage out of play. Looks like they got a very good start here from our opponent, though. Turn to uh, Decidueye Attack. And they haven't even played a... Uh, that was their first card in the discard pile was that Rare Candy. Um, we're definitely going to boss KO this Dartrix here now with our uh, Boltoned. Then we got to try and get the Greninja into play on the following turn. Uh, let's say they like, benched a Mimikyu here. If they benched a Mimikyu here, then I think we would go ahead and chase that Mimikyu. Here comes that splitting arrow. So yeah, we're going to go with that Bolt Storm. This matchup is like, it depends how many Mimikyu they play. That's a big thing. How many Mimikyu do they play and how quickly can they get them set up and working is usually like the big factor in this matchup. Um, 
If they play zero, then it's usually pretty good for us because the Greninja just allows us to keep swinging through. We can eventually Miraculous Duo if we want. There's another boss. It's a really good draw. They won't KO our Bolton this turn. So if they bench like another Rowlet, we can just go boss, bring that up, knock it out, uh, and go from there. Yeah, that's just splitting arrow. So we can just go boss again. Hopefully, just eventually drawing into a quick ball would be nice. If we can quick ball this Greninja away or an Aurora energy. It's a reset stamp, not quite what we're looking for. Boss again, Bolt Storm again. Because uh, if we can just get through this one Decidueye and that's all they have, then that makes the game super easy. There's a quick ball. So now we can get the Greninja in the discard pile. And all we need is an Aurora energy. Which shouldn't be too ridiculously hard to find. It, may, it might be a little bit difficult, but should be able to do it. We can also set up our Coco Prism. Uh, there's a Marnie. That's super unfortunate. <laughs> we have the Greninja. We have the quick ball. Oh, well. Maybe we can like get it on our bench now, which is even better. We can even attack with it if we want to. Oh, no. We have drawn into... A very bad hand there's nothing going on here no options no greninja no quick ball just a bunch of junk but i think we have to send up the mewtwo because letting him hit a dedene feels like it'd be too good because they're like a boss away from winning the game i think we have to send up the mewtwo here um and it looks like they are going for that kind of like prize race on my dedenes here there's a quick ball that's good we don't have any dedenes left in our deck though go ahead and quick ball away this we only have that Crobat. I don't really want to bench either of these. I want to be able to maybe get down another Mewtwo and then uh, Coco, potentially. Switch seems a little risky. I think we should have the Crobat for three here. How good is it? Not that great. Let's see. I'm going to give up uh, this. We haven't GX attacked yet, but I'm not trying to... <clears throat> Full Blast to Coco would have been really nice, but we can't do that. We can eventually Miraculous Duo and heal these Dedenes as well. So... Could grab Coco and attach to Coco as well. Set up Coco eventually. I kind of like the Coco grab and attach to Coco, to be honest. because I don't think we're going to pop it ever. I think we're just going to try and set it up and attack with it. Could full blitz so then we could tag bolt on the following turn. Um, full blitz, tag bolt. But uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem that good to have access to tag bolt. Let me just go ahead and grab Coco here. Yeah. And then bench Coco attach the. No, I want to be able to potentially miraculous duo next turn. Do of that. What do we have our, for options here? Tingly return, lightning ride. Tandem shock, like nothing good. Uh, no, tandem shock <laughs> for nothing. Um, yeah, so we need that Greninja and we need it in the discard pile. I guess we, we can, once again, we can also put it in play, but it's really hard to put it in play. It's like not, it doesn't happen. It, doesn't, it does happen sometimes, but it really doesn't. Like if we top deck Cherish Ball here, we could go bench Coco, attach to it, switch into Coco, Greninja for three, or if we top deck the Greninja itself, and then we could like either hard retreat or we hopefully would get an air balloon. Go back in the active, hit this for that 130. Here we go again. Top deck. Lightning. So, gonna put down Coco. Gonna attach a Lightning. I guess it could have been a Ganondorf snipe that. No, I don't think I could. I think, like, I want the Coco as an attacker here, I think. Because if they do play that uh, Mimikyu, then um, they just haven't put it in play maybe yet. If they do play the Mimikyu, though, we want to make sure we can still attack with something here. The Coco would work. Splitting Arrow again. Unfortunately, my Mewtwo gets knocked out next turn. So we do have to run this Mewtwo away. Unless I top deck Aurora Energy, which I'm really hoping to top deck here is an Aurora Energy. We'll see. Pikaram is not what we need here. So I think I have to run it to this Dedene here and just kind of give it up. We could also run to Coco and then hope to a top deck Aurora next turn or an out to Aurora. Um, That puts my Coco in danger. Okay, run to Dedene. This feels really bad. Cash to Coco, pass. Yeah, we're just not finding the cards we need in this for this matchup. We're not finding anything really. We kind of hit a brick here. We've used a, we used a lot of Dedenes really aggressively though. Unfortunately, we lost all of our Dedenes on turn one. Discarded one, opened one, and then played one. So like the quick ball wasn't an out. We our Crobat's gone as well. Okay, so I think I have to. I think I have to like, almost end up Mew, Mewtwo and hope to hit. I guess it's in a bat for a turn. Then I have to hit an air balloon. Okay, what's we'll in a bat for a turn? Because it's like plus one one turn to work with, maybe. There's quick ball, but we have no outs, like I said. Um guess I can go ahead and thin out the deck by a card though. Grab uh probably grab another Mewtwo. 
Yeah, grab another Mewtwo. Pass. We maybe have plus one. We have one more turn to work with here. Are they have two prizes? I guess if we tap back a Lightning Energy, we can retreat and lose the Coco. But I don't really want to lose my Coco. So we're really hoping they just have to hit my Crobat. And then we top deck. Top deck a Roar Energy doesn't work anymore. No, there's a boss. Unfortunate. So yeah, we kind of just hit that brick in the middle of the game. And it really came down to mostly just like... We could discard so many Dedenes. When we had that Quick Bomb, we grab, grab Coco. We'd have loved to have grabbed a Dedenne there and continue to play the game. But, uh, I mean, we were out of Dedenes at that point. So we're going to take an L to the Decidueye here in this first one. Okay, we are into another one. Our opponent <clears throat> wins the coin flip here. And actually chooses for us to go first. Uh, got the Bolton starts. We can also attach to a Mewtwo, which is definitely what we want to do. Set up for like a potential turn two full blitz. Or we like to do a Vileplume hit, something like that. See what our opponent's playing. They're probably playing a Picarom deck themselves, or yeah, probably like something like a Picarom deck themselves, to be honest. It's usually, uh, I guess it could be Senna Scorch as well. Um, those are like the decks are uh, at the, the forefront of my mind here. Uh, Reshi Zard. Okay, so Tempo Zard. So they're going to try and double blaze KO my Bolton. I really don't like. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, I kind of do want a dead change here just to kind of be a little bit more aggressive and see more cards because i might want to dead change the next turn as well so it doesn't really matter what we discard too much here. i don't really want a second bolton in play if they kill this bolton i don't really want to use another bolton ever uh which is a really good draw here because we can get the coco and a i want it on another mewtwo this, this is like a little risky like i could just get peek around but i do want two mewtwo set up um, I'm going to do this now because if they do KO my active, then I have to get a switch card. Like, I have to send them to Dene, get a switch card. So, set this all up. If they whiff, we have the option of Electrify or trying to get the full blitz if we can get the full blitz. I'd much rather have a... I mean, I could have gotten Picarom here, so I have the Picarom for the full blitz on the next turn. But the options through Mewtwo are just so much better. So, like, I just need to find the Picarom next turn. I got what? Well, I am down three Quick Ball. <laughs> so, we have the Picarom, a Quick Ball, and four Cherish Ball. We also just, like, if we could just get Bioplume in the discard pile, we should hit this with Bioplume for 190. That would also be fine. Um, but yeah, and then if they whiff, they don't get that turn one double blitz. Like, I'm sure they're looking for, because I don't even know what other play they would go for. Then we can just Electrify for the turn, and that would also be just fine. Um, and then I would regret giving up the Bolton, I guess. But I don't really want to put it in play, have it eat up a bench spot, when I know they want a double blaze turn one. So, but because then we could have, like, stacked enough energy in play to actually one hit KO, stuff like this with a Bolton, potentially. Um, in future turns, like, full blitz, as they go with the second rush Zard, then Bolton could do work. But... Yeah, and then they just eat up a bench space, so yeah. And they, I know what they want to do. They, they want to double blaze, KO this thing, so... Don't really want to just kind of... Yeah. I know what they're trying to do. <laughs> so we're going to play like they're going to probably hit it. Because uh, that's, that's what the deck does. Uh, we see the second rushes are there. They go sending it back to the deck. So probably grabbing like Dedenne. There's an Orangaroo. So trying to conserve something in the hand, maybe. And then... Um, we got a Quick Ball 2. I didn't see what they got off the Quick Ball, though, to be honest. Maybe they grabbed a Dene with that. We'll see it here in a second, I'm sure. Maybe Primate Wisdom Dene change is about to go down. We'll see. Oh, Crobat. Okay, okay. Then why would they Primate Wisdom? Now I'm just confused. <laughs> what is there to Primate Wisdom that you would... Then you're drawing into the card no matter what. That one's that one's got me stumped. That one's got me stumped. There's a Fion. Now, I actually, I'm just kind of curious if they're going to use... Yeah, that one's got me stumped for sure. Um, I wonder if they're actually going to use the Fion here. Uh... I think I would send up to Dene if they did Fion. I don't really want to set up a Mewtwo to have it get hit. Because then their game can complete game plan could just become to try and KO both my Mewtwo's. Um and I'd have to try and create make Bolton a threat. And making Bolton a threat once you've already popped your Coco. Oh, popped your Coco becomes a little bit harder because you can't really set up Bolton out of nowhere unless you want a full blitz to your Bolton, but I don't really want a full blitz to my Bolton. I want a full blitz to my Mewtwo. So yeah, I'm <clears throat> I don't really want to if they Fion here, I'll probably just Kind of sacrifice the Dene. All right, you can have the two prize cards. I'm going to try and full blitz now. Um, or at the very least, punch them with Bioplume. Um, or Greninja, even. Greninja would also work. Uh, there's the Hearth. They haven't Weldered yet, so who knows if they're going to get that. Um, so it looks like they might just whiff this this Double Blaze here. Um, yep, no Double Blaze happening. Let's see what we draw. I would have Fion there, I think, if I was them, though. Because you could have Fion, and I would have sent up to Dene. <clears throat> which means I, don't, I said, no, I would have sent up Mewtwo there, wouldn't I have? So we got the full blitz. This does require me to put the Picarom on the bench, though, which I don't want to do. And I was talking about getting a Picarom over the Mewtwo there, but uh, I didn't do that. I think it's fine. Fine with this. Uh, full Blitz. 
If this knockout Jirachi, they have, they can knock out our Mewtwo. So this Tempo Zard deck uh, does play Baby Blown. The thing is, it's not as centered around Baby Blown, so it's not as good. And they had a really slow turn one, like overall. I even lost a Fire Crystal, so I don't expect Baby Blown to knock out my Mewtwo here. I'm gonna expect a Double Blaze hit for, or even a Flare Strike, just to hit us. I don't expect a a what's it called to go to. That would be a lot for them to have uh, this turn specifically. Um. Yeah, there'd be a lot for them to have. There should be a lot for them to have. So I don't expect that to happen at all here. And then we're probably just going to try and punch this and then tag bolt. KO the Reshizard, KO the Dedenne. I think that's what we just do. Just, that, that's five prize cards. So we can just go attach to this Mewtwo. Maybe even just full blitz to our active Mewtwo. So we have five on each. So they, I don't think they'd be able to chase my bench Mewtwo anyways, though. So we'll have to wait and see what they do. I guess Great Catcher plus Double Blaze for 300 wouldn't do that. But then I can try and go for like... I mean, that would be a little bit... That'd be good. <laughs> that'd be a good play if my opponent could pull that off. We have, like, three Aurora left. And we have two Basic Lightning left in the deck. So, I don't hate the idea of being, like, 5-5. Five, five. Having three Aurora left, I should be able to find one between this turn and next turn, I think. Also, the draw power of, like, Zidane and Crobat. So, I don't hate that. We'll see... Uh, we'll see how their turn goes. Maybe they only get two... Okay, they got the fourth energy. So, now they could go, like... Well, they're great... I guess they could have done that next turn. Well, no. Now they're not using Double Blaze. They're going Flare Strike. So, they could go, like... Next turn, go Welder, Great Catcher, Double Blaze, 300. A little bit scary. Um, a little bit for them to have. I'm also not knocking anything out. So the Oracle is not going to draw those extra cards. So basically, I'm debating between Full Blitzing to my active here. Or just making sure this one has six and Full Blitzing to this. I guess it also depends. If, if Marnie draws me energies, I can't do it anyways. So... That's also going to be a factor is do I just draw energy off Marnie? Because uh, if I have Marnie here and I draw energy, I can't full blitz. I mean, if I draw one, I can full blitz one. And then I would probably just full blitz one here. Here comes that Whirlpool Suction. Now, they do play a Zigzagoon. I'm almost just like fine giving them up, to, giving them two prize cards here, though, to be honest. I think I think so. Just, if they want to flare strike, I could have sent up. So if I send up Pikaram, they could hit it for 230. And then Zigzagoon KO it later, which I'd be scared of. I don't want that to happen. Because um, then I can't stamp them low if it comes to that situation. I could have sent up this Mewtwo as well. That would have also been fine, it feels like. To have just sent up this Mewtwo and be like, alright. I hit in this Mewtwo. And then I attach here full blitz to this one. Uh, and then kind of go from there. Makes no sense to give up my bolt in here, obviously. Because, yeah, it makes no sense to give up my bolt in here ever. Because the Dene... Like, they're always KOing Dene or bolt in, so I may as well... Okay, here comes a great catch. Maybe they're just creating bench space, I guess. That is their Great Catcher. They might play multiple Great Catcher. It is possible to play multiple. They are going for that play I was talking about. Flare Strike, and then they can leave it. Ooh. Uh-oh. This is a super good play for my opponent. Now now I think we might be in trouble. Now I think we're in trouble. This is scary. I'm I'm scared. Now I think we want to... Right, you, right, you paralyze this guy with this Mewtwo. While I attach to this Mewtwo, it makes the most sense. Match here. And Marnie. Don't have any of it set up yet. That's the scary part. Okay, we got it all. Uh, we can quick ball away the game. Mimikyu, as long as Raichu Raichu is in there, I actually, I'm not going to lie, I don't know for sure. I think I saw it. Yeah, okay. Raichu Raichu. Oh, we don't have the switch card yet either. So, Dede change. Air Balloon, no switch. So, I didn't, I could have, hmm. We did have four switch left though, right? Three, okay. Well, I mean pass i guess is gonna be our our play here um so i could have attached active to or not attached at all even left over the option of air balloon here plus energy but then i don't have the tag ball on the next turn so i think it was fine to be aggressive with the energy there and be like well i might not see another energy this turn anyways i don't have that many left in my deck um so i think it was fine to play it out how i did um and now they can do that they could even go if they have second great catcher um i feel like i'd never see great catcher in here but if they've said oh wait there's zigzagoons in the discard pile if they play two um, I didn't see I didn't see that till right now. Their Zigzagoon is in the discard pile. That is not good for them. Uh, they could second great catcher, double blaze KO off my bench. Hmm. There's a dub wool. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could have attached here and they had nine KO. We could attach here instead as well. Could have attached to the Bolton. And then go next turn, attach the bolt and knock this out. But I was trying to, I was trying to paralyze this and then tag ball in the next turn. So I don't know. I feel like was, especially with four switch left on our deck, there's four. Oh, three. Um, I think that was a reasonable play, reasonable line I took here. 
Isn't my opponent less time? If yeah, their Zigzagoon's actually gone, I didn't realize this though. Right now, Zigzagoon would have been insanely good here, especially if they had like a boss. They could have gone like boss, I don't know, double blade something, and then uh, I don't, I don't know where going there. Maybe uh, switch retreat boss, player strike, and I don't know something else. But like, yeah, uh, here comes the outrage. So we can still go with the paral uh, paralysis, paralyze this. has to be my route here it basically shouldn't have attached here that way like if i didn't attach here last turn i could have attached to the bolton when i whiffed and then go attach the bolton again knock out this turn that would have been okay to be honest so we can go stamp paralyze a uh, hope they don't have switch retreat double blaze e, that's i don't like that game plan at all i don't like that that doesn't feel like it at all but if i don't not if i don't paralyze this they could just have boss win which is also really scary now their boss is in the discard pile, actually. Actually, hold up. But their boss... How many gust effects do they play? That's kind of the question that I don't have the answer to. Because I could just go... Okay, let's do this. Check. We left. We got a stamp. I could just attach active. I should attach the lightning, actually. I should attach the lightning. I don't know why I put the, the Aurora here. Could just go electrify. If I paralyze this, I'm afraid of switch retreat. Double blade. So I think we just go electrify. Go out there. And now, what's going to happen is they can flare strike KO this if they want. They don't have to. They can. Um, and if they do... Oh, they have a second great catcher. No! Two great catcher. That's what I was afraid of. I mentioned it. I was like, all right, I'm kind of scared of two great catcher. But they were like bench locked. And I was like, all right, they can't Mewtwo. They put the boss on top. I don't even know how they get access to it. But there's, there it is. Second great catcher. And we lose. <laughs> and we lose. And that's it. That's game. Unfortunate. Two L's. Um, unexpected with the double great catcher there. But I like it. I like it. I think great catcher is really good in Baby Blue Cephalon. I think it's really good in the Tempo Zar deck. Um, it's just like, if, if your opponent knows, if you just don't have that card, you don't have a way to like Welder plus Gust. Um can really take away so many options that you could have. Great Catcher is really insanely good in those decks right now, I think. Um, two L's, man. I don't know. I still love the deck. I still think it is tier one deck. Taking two losses here doesn't change that. But that's going to do it for these games with the Mewtwo deck. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, give it a like, subscribe. See you tomorrow.